What's up everyone? I'm MattJS93 and welcome to episode 6 of the Random RTG. So we start off this episode by discarding Handanovic after his several poor performances. And we go into the market with 1,500 coins and we get De Sanctis. He was the 12th player on the market between 1 and 39 players. And we put him into our squad and we come up against a player who has Beckford and Bent up front. Peace! So the inevitable does happen, and he does score, surprisingly not through Beckford or Bent, but through Lee Catamol. An extremely scrappy goal there, should have cleared it. But I do believe this time, uh, no, it was Colback just dances through my defence, slots it in the bottom corner. Not really brilliant performance from Dix DeSantis, but here, big man Jovatic. Oh, what a goal! Free kicks in this game are so much harder than they were in uh, FIFA 11. I used to be able to get them on target 90% of the time in FIFA 11. But look at this. Have some of that straight in the top corner. Slowed it down. Boom. What ya gonna do? And that is how the game finishes. 2-1. This guy watched all the replays. Like At the end here, he... I'll show you a little bit of it, but he watches all of them. What a dick. And we get... 561 coin and for the next game dun 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 Hagbon la ho ho but it was Suarez that struck first not Agbon Lahore with a beautiful little strike from outside the box beating De Sanctis he did get a hand to it but either way it did go in and then Agbon Lahore look at that pace and he wins this was his second penalty of the game. I saved his first one. But this one, Suarez does put away. And then, I can't even remember who scores next. It's Budan. There's the ball roll. There's the goal. That is how we do, ladies and gents. He does, I do believe, now make it 3-1 with Agbon Hall. His pace, his acceleration is just ridiculous. This next goal is the reason why I rate Jovetic so highly. He's such a beast. Look at this. He does the sombrero frick over the f defender, brings it down and unleashes the fucking Kraken into the top left corner. And we just watch it again. Oh, 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 oh. And that is how it finishes. 3-2 to him. It was more me in the second half, but I couldn't quite capitalise. And we walk away with 619 coins. With those coins, we're going to go into the online market looking for another centre mid. There was 43 on at the time, and we got the 40th, which was not Chirino. I just quickly looked to see if he had any games on. He didn't, so we bought him for 750 coins. So with our midfield strengthened, we go into the final game of the episode, and this player does have a Italian team in a 3-4 one two except for a greek center forward but he's actually a center attacking mid and melito does bag himself two very nice goals they're a bit of a twas wanger from him the second one is just scrum diddly umptious look at this sees the keeper shoulder dust time shoulder dust time there we go lads and also in Zaggy, obviously getting himself on the scoreboard. And remember, guys, if you did enjoy the content, give it a like, please. Also, if you want to see more, subscribe up top. In the description is my Twitter link. Go over there and click that follow button for updates and general banter. Also, whack a comment on whatever you like. There is the final squad. I've been Matt JS93. Thanks for viewing.